press conference right now at uh, Center Point Medical Center. Let's listen in really quickly. Sorry, I was prepared. To hold up no worries. Thank you all for being here. All right, I'm Adam Dustman, uh, the Chief of Police for the Independence Missouri Police Department. This afternoon uh, at approximately 1.09 p.m., officers responded to the 1100 block of North Elsie Smith Road uh, to a report of shots fired. Uh, upon arrival, as you might expect, uh, our officers performed heroically. They found uh, a male down at the address and immediately rendered, uh, went in to uh, render aid and extract the victim that they found. Upon uh, doing so, they were met with gunfire, and uh, I am very tragically sorry to report that in the process we lost another one of our own. Officer Cody Allen uh, served this community not once but twice um, as an independence police officer. He is a hero, and unfortunately he lost his life today serving this community. Additionally, uh, officers that responded, two additional officers took gunshot rounds, one of which underwent surgery and is recovering uh, and expected to make a full recovery. The other severe, uh, suffered minor injuries um, and is also expected to make a full recovery. Uh, sadly, um, the call that initiated involved a civil process server from the Jackson County Circuit Court uh, and Drexel Mack also received fatal wounds and is deceased as a result of this incident. Our thoughts and prayers are with all of the families and this entire community that has been devastated again by this senseless tragedy. I uh, want to express my heartfelt and sincere appreciation and pride in the men and women of our entire Metro law enforcement community that responded without hesitation and assisted us not only in extracting our wounded officers and Mr. Mack, but also in handling the rest of the call and the calls for service in our city. I want to acknowledge the many law enforcement agencies that have reached out uh, to me and our department in our time of grief which has been all too soon for us. I want to acknowledge our city manager, Zach Walker, and our entire city staff who stands with us and letting them know that their support is very much appreciated and needed now more than ever. As I told our department uh, and the law enforcement personnel that were gathered, while you never prepare for things like this, uh, we will get through this through the strength and support from our community and those around us in the law enforcement and, and emergency services profession. Uh, we have a long several days, weeks to come. Our thoughts and prayers are with Officer Allen's family, loved ones, friends, but I do not want it to be lost on anyone that Officer Allen is a hero. He did exactly what the men and women of law enforcement are called to do day in and day out. And I could not be more proud of him and his service to this community.